With the shopping season just around the corner, a financial expert suggests think before you swipe that credit card. This he notes as Filipinos tend to use this more for non-essentials instead of using it for the long run. Fiona Nicolás tells us more. Gerald Posadas will never forget how he began using credit cards. Due to his good standing as a depositor, his bank sent him two credit cards even without him applying for them. I ko lahat ng mga bago. Ano yung mga sinimulan ko bukod bu sa damit, yung appliance din. Lahat ng aircon ko pinalitan ko na lahat, pati yung TV ko. Parang feeling ko lahat I have the power to to buy anything and everything. In the last three years, Posadas has paid around 20,000 pesos a month for credit card bills. It dawned on him. Most of his income goes to credit card debt. Francisco Colaico, founder of the Colaico Lending Foundation, says Filipinos tend to use credit cards for non-emergency, non-essential expenses. Luho eh. Consumption eh. Napapabili ng... Kasi mahilig magmoling. No? Ayun pa rin eh. Sinasabi pa namin. Okay, magmoling na regular. Cut it out. Kung four times a month, gawin nyo lang two times. Kasi naingan nyo kayo. Ang sabihin, close out sale. Diba? 70% of clearance sale. Eh, ilang taon na yung nagkiklearan sila, like, hindi ka ba nakakalata? Talagang grabe ang pressure ng promotion. He attributes a recent surge in banks' non-performing loans to aggressive marketing of credit cards for lifestyle purchases, car loans, and housing loans with low interest rates. Records from the Banco Central show gross non-performing loans of universal and commercial banks increased by about half a percent from June to July this year. Kolaiko says a person should save 20% of his or her monthly income. 60% should go to basic needs like food, rent, fuel, utilities, and clothing. Credit card and other loan payments should not exceed 20%. One's monthly budget should be what is left of one's salary minus savings and not the other way around. Ang iba kasi ang pananaw, pagtatanong mo, ikaw ba may savings? Ang sinasabi niya, uh, income minus expenses, gumimatira savings. Yun ang mindset. Mali yun eh. Ang savings mo kung meron lang matira. Baliktad eh. Dapat income minus savings. O ano yung matira, yun ang panggastos mo. Bayad mo agad sa sarili mo. And instead of using expendable income for shopping, it would be wise to make investments like mutual funds to generate returns. As for Posadas, he has learned his lesson. So, binayara ko na lang din siya, then eventually, tinago ko na lang. He then saved the money he usually spends on credit card bills. With it, he owned his own eatery business. Fiona Nicolás, 9 News.